Linda's Pantry and today I'm super excited to be involved in a wonderful collaboration. So this collaboration was put on by or is being put on by Lisa over at Sutton's Days and Amanda from The Beals. So I'm going to leave links to everyone's channel that's involved in this collaboration. Um, it's the Croctober extravaganza. So if you are wondering what you need to put in the crock pot or the instant pot or your pressure cooker, we are gonna have the whole month full. Every day is gonna have somebody else with a different recipe from main dishes, side dishes, and then the last week is gonna be sweets and desserts. And so, um, coming close to Halloween. Anyway, I just, I'm super excited and I get to kick it off <laughs> October 1st um, with my pumpkin cheese soup. Now, you can mix this up any way you want, but it is absolutely delicious. And uh, like I said, I will leave all the links for everybody's information. You can just click the link and go right to their channel. I hope you go support their channel. Um, tell them that uh, Amanda and Lisa sent you. And um, as always, guys, I can't wait to see you next time, but let's get started on this wonderful pumpkin cheese soup. And in the fall, there's nothing better. Come on in. I'll show you how guys, I Guys, I almost forgot. Don't forget, tomorrow, uh, coming up right behind this video, is Amanda Beal at the Beals. She's doing crock pot lasagna. So please go and watch Amanda. And at the end of this video, there'll be um, slides showing each week and who's scheduled for that day and what they're making. So go support everybody's channel and let's get to the recipe. Pumpkin soup. Yum. Okay, so this is easy. I just am gonna roast as many as are gonna fit on my roasting pan and that'll add that roasted flavor. And I'll be able to roast my garlic at the same time. So, as I go, you guys will, can write down what I'm doing, the recipe. So I'm gonna peel these. Let me get this one peeled. And this is just an easier, to me it's an easier way because I just want a little bit of char roasting on this. I don't want them fully cooked. Does that make sense? So you're gonna cut the bottom off and the top, but first let me let me peel the rest of this. I know. If you guys have an easier way of doing this, let me know. But it's pretty easy. This this peeler works pretty good. This is how I peel like um, oh butternut squash, all that. But it's pumpkin season. Actually, it's squash season for sure for the rest of the fall and winter. Okay, so I've got all the peels off of that one. And this, I actually could cook these down a little bit and take them over to the chickens, and I probably will do that. I don't wanna waste them. So uh, then I'm gonna cut that end with this stem, right? Get that cut off. And then, ta-da! You're going to get all these seeds out now. If you wanna save the seeds and roast them, that is your choice. I will probably do that, but that's for another, that would be for another video, if that makes sense, because there's a lot of little seeds in this. Right? And actually, I'm gonna tell you what I like to do the best, and it works so good, if I can find one here. <clears throat> Get yourself a ever so valuable canning lid, okay? The edge of this is sharp and it just scrapes all that, that stringy right out of there. That's my tip. Tip for the day for pumpkin and or squash cleaning. Right there, there you go, as clean as a whistle. And I'm gonna olive oil all those and um, I've got four of these to put down, so it's not gonna make a huge giant batch of soup, but it does make a fair amount. And 
Wait till you see the rest of the ingredients, Okay, guys. so I've got my pumpkins all cleaned up, and this is four little, um, you know, pumpkins. These actually are um, pumpkins that grew from pumpkins <laughs> that the pigs ate, my friend's pigs ate, and then they uh, it grew a pumpkin patch. So that's where these came from. I've got not quite a whole bulb of garlic. Uh, there, a few cloves have been taken off the outside of this side. Everything's been brushed with a garlic infused olive oil. And I'm gonna do some salt and pepper down here. Um, this recipe is so comforting and delicious in the fall. It's just wonderful. And pumpkin is so very good for you. You can literally use any kind of pumpkin you want. You could use the jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. I've done that before. And a little bit of kosher salt. The oven is ready. I've got the oven preheated at 425. Our broth base is going to be a chicken stock. And cooking sherry. So get yourself some cooking sherry. I've done it with marsala as well. Either one is delicious. It just adds a little background note. It layers the flavor. Okay, in the oven it goes. I'm gonna roast it about halfway cooked and then it's going in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. Now, you can skip this step if you want to, but I have the time and it adds another layer of flavor so that you can't get by just throwing it in the crock pot. Okay guys, I've got my crock pot kind of preheating here and I just put down a little over a tablespoon of butter. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in uh, an onion. I need an onion cut up on the bottom here. And you can rough cut all this, big pieces. You don't need, you don't need it in little pieces because you're gonna puree it at the end. So onion goes down. I've got some apples that were left over. Um, I had fruit fresh on them, but they started to turn a little bit. Does not matter. I want the equivalent to two apples. So I'm gonna just put all of these down in here and it's gonna be wonderful. There we go. And then my pumpkin goes in. Look at this, all the little pumpkin pieces and it's it's not all the way done it's partially done but you get that roasted pumpkin flavor coming through absolutely wonderful and so there's that and then my garlic I hope that it whoops I don't want any of the papers going in so we're gonna squeeze that off to the side here so I can get those cloves down in there you just want to squeeze those out of their little wrappers if they'll come out for you. Anyways, I'm going to get those all down in my soup pot. Crock pot! Okay. I'm super excited to be a part of this collaboration, and I hope you guys go check out all the videos that are coming up for the rest of the month. Um, and I, I do have another one coming up towards the end during the sweet week. So, okay. Got our garlic. Nice. Squeeze that all out. So there's your garlic. And that's, that really keeps it nice and sweet. And then, mm, we need a little over an eight ounce block. I, an eight ounce block would be just fine, but I ended up, um, I buy mine in bulk and I cut off just a hair more than eight ounces. So you get that cream cheese down in there, okay? And it's all gonna come together. Whoops, man down, garlic. Okay, now I'm gonna add some Johnny's garlic because you gotta have extra flavor and about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna add, I have a half a quart of chicken broth right here. Oh my goodness. And you don't wanna get it too thin, you know, when you um, went to start with. Okay, and then I use Herbs de Provence. 
and I'm gonna do this is a teaspoon so I'm gonna do two teaspoons a little about a teaspoon and a half actually a little scant on the second teaspoon and oh, I need a measuring cup and I'm going to pour down a third of a cup of cooking sherry sherry adds a very unique flavor now i've done this with marsala wine i've done it with chardonnay but today we're going to do it with sherry now that's all there is to this we're going to go ahead and get this cooking on high for about three hours or you can put it down on low and let it rip for six to seven hours and that's what i'm going to do i want this for dinner tonight so i'm doing some more black pepper because we like black pepper all season salt at the end see what i think i need and if i need more chicken broth then there you okay, go okay guys right. it's been about six hours on low i've been out shopping and uh, went and got my nails done <laughs> and look okay so i did when i got home i did add some more cheese so right there is about two ounces of velveta and i put two of the baby bell cheese oh and now i'm gonna go ahead and take the immersion blender and get this blended up so everything is soft oh my gosh okay let's do it okay so i got the uh, soup all blended up and look how creamy look at that it's just beautiful oh oh what a gorgeous fall soup and I tasted it um, it's delicious it does mean I like a lot of pepper so I'm gonna put some more pepper in here probably another half a teaspoon or so right there um, and then some of the poultry seasoning and this is by McCormick just yeah, maybe half a teaspoon of that. And some parsley, dried parsley. If I had fresh, you know, fresh is good too, but dried parsley is amazing. Let's get that stirred down in there and then we're ready to serve this up. Okay, let's get this dished up. Oh my goodness. Creamy and delicious pumpkin cheese soup this is one of my very favorites i also make a pumpkin curry if you want to see that let me know because it is pumpkin season but you want this thick and creamy uh, just decadent you can serve this with so many things um i love this so i'm gonna scoop with a um this is a melon baller, I think. I'm gonna scoop myself up. Now you can do Greek yogurt, and I was gonna do that, but I would only, and I'm gonna scoop sour cream. There's a little bloop of sour cream. Makes it pretty. Um, just another little bit of green here with the parsley. Yum. And some pumpkin seeds and these are the sprouted pumpkin seeds from Costco that I got in my Costco haul. remember okay all right I think that's good you just want you know I don't know a tablespoon add some extra protein some salt it's just gonna be delicious okay guys let me get some pictures and I'll bring you back and we'll have a taste test. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, Official. so it's time. It's crunch time. So you take a little bit of that sour cream, a little bit of pumpkin seed. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's cheesy. You get that little bit of pumpkin seed in there. It's got that, um, earthy flavor that you get mm. from all the spices and the little bit of sherry in the background is wonderful. I truly hope you try this. This is a thick period soup. It's wonderful. A crusty bag up, 
with some like a garlic bread oh my gosh would be fantastic and I honestly I think a little bit of cool tomato on here would be really good mm. okay this is my um, pumpkin soup roasted pumpkin soup in the crock pot for Crocktober extravaganza mmm mm -mm -mm. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you'll go and check out all the other videos. I've got all their links down below, like I told you, and let's go support their channels. I can't wait to see what everybody's bringing to the table because some of these channels are brand new to me as well. So thank you guys for including me in this absolutely delicious collaboration. Okay, we'll see you next time. Don't forget, I've got other links down below. I'm going to have a link to my crock pot. I'll also have a link to maybe one of those immersion blenders. You might need that. And, um, well, if I could give you a link to some really good organic pumpkins, I would. <laughs> okay. Okay.